What's up guys, it's Melissa and welcome back to my channel. So today we're gonna try da 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 Olox. Um, but we are gonna do the crochet method with the wraparound, so it's a little bit different. <laughs> um, but it's my first time trying it, so like, yeah, let's get So the hair I'm gonna be using today is a modern soft lock. It is long, 28 inches. Then I'm gonna use this curly prop hair. You can use any Afro kinky hair, honestly, to wrap it around. So I'm gonna start by parting off my hair sections to begin my little baby plots. So I'm going to be using shine and jam to hold the plaits. You don't need a lot and these don't have to be super neat as well because once you put the locks in no one's really seeing it and I honestly prefer like not super neat. I don't know. It just gives me like more of a natural feel than it being like really organized. And I also just can't see to part the back of my hair so <laughs> that may be it too. It just makes my life easier. So it's funny because I would actually say the plaiting is the longest part of this style. Actually installing the lock is really fast with this method, but the plaits can take you anywhere from like an hour to two hours. But no, not two hours. What am I saying? Probably like an hour 30. But you can definitely do your plaits a lot bigger than this. I wish I did. I actually ended up going back and making some of them, like two of them into one because they just didn't need to be that small. The locks will just be too heavy on your head if you make them really, really small. So you're going to want to get your crochet needle and stick it through the plot and then pull the lock through. So usually you would like completely, you know, knot it through the whole process, but you're not going to do all of that because you want the, to leave the little braid out. So you're going to just pull it through so it's kind of secure and then hold it together and start wrapping the kinky hair around it. You want to make sure you get it tight at the root so it covers that knot. That's the whole point of this method. It's really just to eliminate that, you know, kind of semi-ugly knot you have from the regular crochet method. So it looks like it's done from scratch, but you're not wrapping it all the way down because the hair is already like pre-locked, if that makes any sense. So yeah, I kind of slowed it down for you guys a little. Um, it definitely, I got faster with it when I got used to it, but when you're doing it at first, it takes a while to kind of just get into the method. Also, I want a butterfly look, so I'm not doing it that neat and organized. I'm kind of skipping around, playing around, you know, so it has more of that like textured, loose, like free type look. So I actually somehow lost part of my video, so I only have this part showing the detail routine of how to do the lock, but you guys can just honestly rewind and rewatch it <laughs> over and over again. It's the same method I use for all of them. So you just want to bring it back down to the end and when you get to the end like you just keep wrapping and it just it tucks away and it's very secure you don't have you don't see it at all it doesn't come loose okay so i lost some light guys but this is the finished product of the hair So it's like super, super long as you can see, but it's really cute. I like it. So the um, link to the hair and all the other products will be in the description box below so you guys can get it and do it yourself. So don't worry about that. But anyway, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe and let me know what other styles you'd like to see.